Reels, available on satellite and cable systems nationwide. This is not a good situation. If you really like explosions, I'm telling you, you will love <gasps> Ring of Fire. Looks like it belongs on the big screen it where does. we've seen it some really other does. really impressive blowouts by Mother Nature. You're right, Steve. You're so right. And our lava man, Jeremy Parsons. Our lava man. Lava man. He joins <laughs> us now from the heart of Hollywood with more about the cinematic history of volcanoes. Hey, Jer. Any lava questions, I'm the guy. That's absolutely right. <laughs> lots of fire, lots of explosions in Ring of Fire very clearly. It does look like it is in the company of some really great volcano movies. We put a pack of them together in this recap, starting out with a big one. Check it out. The only volcano movie to win 11 Academy Awards is The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. After Gollum and his precious take a lava bath inside Mount Doom, the whole neighborhood erupts. Fellowships see the whole thing from the battlefield, and it looks like Frodo and Sam might not be around for the Hobbit prequel. Oh my god. Oh no. Volcanologist Pierce Brosnan decides that this would be a good time to get out of town in Dante's Peak. Only problem, it's hard to outrun a volcano. Tommy Lee Jones can't believe the La Brea tar pits are erupting in Volcano. This big screen lava lamp hit theaters just two months after Dante's Peak. One Million BC was one of the first movies to prove that cavemen and volcanic lava had a hard time coexisting, and things were even tougher on the local dino lizard population. Raquel Welch is probably used to having prehistoric guys fight over her, but when a volcano blows its top in one million years BC, the fun stops and it's every caveman for him or herself. About a million years later, plus a couple of millennia, the conquest of Mexico begins with some volcanic foreshadowing in Captain from Castile. No wonder the air quality is so bad in Mexico City. Mysterious Island ends with a bang as a volcano traps the Nautilus inside a rocky grotto that hasn't been retrofitted. There she blows. Disney retold the Jules Verne tale in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, with Kirk Douglas taking the Nautilus to a remote island called Volcania. Never a good idea. In You Only Live Twice, James Bond tracks supervillain Blofeld to his secret lair inside, where else, a volcanic crater. A dormant one, we hope. Joe versus the Volcano was the first teaming of Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks, and nothing says romantic comedy like being sacrificed to the fire gods. At the end of the feast, you will climb to the top of the big woo and you will jump in, OK? OK. Oh, oh what's that? Popeye meets Sinbad the Sailor, sees our favorite Sailor Man captured by a mythical giant bird, the Rock. But Popeye puts the Rock in a hard place in a nearby volcano and serves it up ready to eat, with or without spinach. Reels is TV about movies. Go to reels.com to find reels in your area.